Pangatlo, ito po importante, naamendahan po yung item O, paragraph 4, section 2 ng Obdimus Guideline sa implementation ng community quarantine in the Philippines. Ano po ibig sabihin nito? Po, pwede na po ang mga private at public construction projects, infrastructure projects sa mga ECQ. Ano ba yung mga po pwede na po mga construction pri projects sa ECQ? Well, ito po, no? Yung mga construction para sa quarantine and isolation facilities para sa mga persons under monitoring, suspect and confirmed COVID-19 patients. Yung mga facilities for construction personnel who perform emergency works, flood control, and other disaster risk reduction and rehabilitation programs, sewerage projects, water service uh, facility projects, digital works. Yung priority public infrastructure projects as well as priority private infrastructure projects defined as those that refer to food production, agriculture, fishery, fish port development, energy, housing, communication, water facilities, manufacturing, and business process outsourcing shall likewise be allowed in accordance with the guidelines issued by the DWH. Na-approve din po na siyempre dahil allowed na mga private at public uh, infrastructure projects sa mga ECQ na ito, ay eh yung mga construction workers po na accredited ng DPWH ay po pwede na rin uh, pumunta doon sa kanilang mga lugar na pinagtatrabahuhan. Uulitin ko po itong mga construction works na ito, yung mga related sa quarantine and isolation infrastructure, yung mga facilities for the health sector, yung emergency work, at saka yung climate mitigation projects gaya ng flood control, disaster risk reduction, and rehabilitation work. Pinayagan din po ang ilang mga construction projects sa general community quarantine. Ang general rule po, lahat po ng public and private construction projects ay eh po pwede na sa mga lugar na GCQ. Pero kinakailangan po kumumplay doon sa mga construction safety guidelines para sa implementation ng infrastructure projects during the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay. Sa unang nilabas na omnibus guidelines, ang nakasulat po ay, I quote, essential public and private construction projects such as, but not limited to sewerage, water service facilities and digital works and health facilities, and priority projects shall be allowed to operate in accordance with guidelines issued by the DPWH reflected in a separate issuance. Panglima, inadapt ng IATF Screening and Validation Committee ang mga sumusunod na mga rekomendasyon. Una po, ang pananatili ng ABRA bilang low-risk area at sa ilalim ng general community quarantine. Ang pag-convene ng Regional Interagency Task Force at pag-report nito sa, ibang, sa mga bagay-bagay na may kinalaman sa Appeal for Risk Classification.